Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given here this continued fraction and these three dots indicate that the pattern continues forever. We would like to know to what value this continued fraction will converge if ever this converges. You can pause the video and see if you can solve the problem. And thanks to the Art of Problem Solving community for this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by letting the expression that you would like to evaluate be equal to a certain variable x. And then let's look at the pattern, if ever there is a pattern. Let's rewrite the right hand side this way. This is color coded so we can see the pattern. We copy this one, we copy the plus, we copy the eight and the fractional bar. But let us split these two into one plus one. All the rest are still copied. Now I want you to focus your attention to the yellow part here and compare that with the original one. We have this one, we have this one here also. We have the plus sign, we have the plus sign. We have eight in the numerator all over the same thing here. Then two plus eight over, two plus eight over, and then continue the pattern. Since we have here three dots, this means that we still have plus 8 over 2 plus 8 over 2 plus 8 after these dots. And so effectively, this yellow part here at the bottom is equivalent to the yellow part here at the top. And since this expression at the right side is equated to x, then this yellow part here at the bottom is also equal to x, which brings us now to this equation. We copy the x, we copy the equal sign, we copy the 1, we copy 8 over, then this red one is copied plus, but this yellow part is now replaced by x because that is this yellow part here at the right side. And so our problem now is reduced to solving for x in this given equation. So let's solve this equation. First, let's subtract 1 from both sides and multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 1 in order to eliminate the denominator. x plus 1 and 1 plus x are the same. So this right hand side here, x plus 1 over 1 plus x can be cancelled out because a number divided by itself is simply 1. And so the right side is just 8 and we copy the left side. This is the product of the sum and difference of two numbers which is equivalent to the difference of two squares. So we have the square of the first term minus the square of the second term, and we copy the right side. Simplifying, we arrive at x squared equals 8 plus 1, which is 9. And so x is equal to 3, or x equals negative 3. But going back to our problem, clearly, the value of this expression at the right-hand side is positive because you have positive 1, and that is added by all these positive numbers. There is no way for this expression to become negative. And so one of the roots, x equals negative 3, must be an extraneous root. So let's disregard this root. And so our final answer is only x equals positive 3 for the value of this expression. And that is now our final answer. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.